Right everyone, welcome back to here. Alright, this is my film club and today's film is Hardcore Henry. My little tribute to Hardcore Henry. I hope you enjoyed it. Before I carry on, don't forget to do the poll above to pick next week's category, uh, film category. All right. So Hardcore Henry. It's a I think it's a Russian American film, part Russian, part American film. 136 minutes long. Made in 2015 by um, Ilya Neshala, I think his name is. Um, I'll put an annotation for that. But yeah, it's basically a sci-fi action film. Not normally my kind of film. I like sci-fi. I'm not really into action films, but there's something special about um, Hardcore Henry. I, I really enjoyed it. To be honest, I even knew from the very first little intro bit that I'd like it. Um, the music, those um, slow-mo scenes during the sort of opening credits really really good scenes are um, so the main character is Henry and it's filmed basically you see the whole film through his eyes basically so you never really get to see Henry um, you see a, a little bit of his face near the end in a sort of broken mirror but, um, yeah so I'm pretty sure the character of Henry is played by an actual parkour stuntman uh, and then the only other two sort of famous actors in the whole entire film, Michelle T. Copley from um, I think it's District 19, is it District 13? I can't remember now. Um, that's a good film though. But I've always liked Michelle T. Copley. I think he's a good actor. And then Tim Roth for a little bit as the dad. Um, yeah, the other the other um, actors may be famous in Russia. I don't know, but um, yeah, so not an overall big cast. But it's well done. What I like about Hardcore Henry. It's uh, it's intense. I remember actually thinking, after I watched it, it's exhilarating. And um, I actually remember thinking, ah, oh, that was fucking wonderful, that was. I loved that. Because um, it just, the whole entire film just keeps you going for the whole entire thing. As soon as the action starts going, it's relentless. But it doesn't get too much, if you know what I mean. It has some really good gore. Uh, that bit where the, the bloke's head gets shot off when... Um, Henry's trying to get the bloke's heart. Uh, that is very, very reminiscent of Bad Taste. If you've ever seen Bad Taste, there's pretty much a head been shot off like that, exactly like there in that. So maybe that's a influence on from that. The whole film was filmed with GoPros as well, which is it's, it's very clever and um, 
shows what you can do with a GoPro, really. Um, yeah, well, the, the bloke who did Henry, like I said, is a parkour stuntman, so he's doing all the stuff himself. And I think the film was influenced by the, the director's own music videos. I think he did some music videos. Uh, he's got a band called Biting Elbows, I think it is. Um, and the videos that it's based on is Bad Motherfucker and Stampede. I've seen Bad Motherfucker, I don't think I've seen Stampede then. But when you watch Bad Motherfucker, you can see the influence on um, Hulk Henry. Yeah, I like, the, I like the mystery element to it. So the mystery, the action, and then the sort of revenge. I like, you know, I love a film with a bit of sort of revenge in it. A um, bit of sort of romance as well. There's a lot of funny bits in this as well, I thought. Quite a funny film. Uh, all of the Jimmy characters are good as well. I like that they're all uh, they're all English. He puts on a different English accent for each character as well, which is quite good. But yeah, the Jimmy character is great. He's very funny. I like the um, the World War Two Jimmy, the sniper Jimmy, the punk Jimmy. I don't know. I like them all to be honest. <laughs> yeah, good. It's a good character that. So although Harker Henry hasn't got much of a story per se, he's not got a, a massively written story, it is just literally finding out who's trying to kill him, you know, blah blah blah. But uh, I don't think it needs a massive story, that was one complaint I've seen people say, not enough story, not enough, but I don't think it needs it, that's not what Harker Henry's about, Harker Henry is pure action, it's like watching a computer game almost, you know, a, a real life computer game. Um, Weirdly enough, I've had dreams like Hardcore Henry as well, where that's we're constantly fighting people. So, yeah, I really enjoyed, it, and I hope you did too. Uh, Hardcore Henry also has my three favourite things. In it had extreme gore. I do love anything where a head has been chopped off and thrown about. I love that. Um, had the word. It had a single cunt in it as well. I love it when uh, Jimmy shouts, "A can is a cunt." It just cracked me up. And then lastly, it had a song in it. So yeah, I do I do like anything that has a single cunt, a surprise cunt, extreme gore, and a, at least one song in it. <laughs> and this had all of them. But yeah, overall, very good film, I thought. I've, it was, I think it was Shed Ninja on YouTube who introduced me to Hardcore Henry, and I'm very glad. So if you're watching this, mate, thank you. Um, yeah, now I've been able to share with other people. But um, yeah. I think it's an excellent film. You know, not a massive story to it, but it doesn't need it. It's pure action. As soon as it starts going, it doesn't let up for the whole entire hour and 36 minutes. It just gets better and better. The end fight is good. I like that bit when um, Don't Stop Me Now kicks in. That's a good bit. Um, yeah, and there's overall good music in this. It has, it has a bit of everything. I think it has some um, sort of techno, sort of Russian kind of music. It has a bit of Queen in it. Um... Yeah, and then lastly, the effects. It had some very good special effects in this, I thought. Simple, but well done. Yeah. I, you know, I just I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, because I, I really liked Michael Henry. I think it was a um, great film. They're talking about doing a sequel, but um, I'm not holding out for that. But um, yeah, it'd be good if they did. But it doesn't need it. it it's a good enough film on its own. It doesn't really need a sequel. You can keep watching that back and still see bits you didn't see, I think enough going on right so that's the end of today's film club don't forget to watch till the very end do the poll for next week's category and watch till the very end of this one to see next week's film or next time's film anyway because i don't quite get to do them every week all right i hope you enjoyed the video see you later Before you leave, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can now via Patreon or by shopping at Amazon.com and Gearburst. There's more info below if you need that. Remember, if you want to get full notifications for this channel, click the bell. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.